why is it the left used to understand? The left used to understand that corporations are power centers and therefore prone to abuse their power. The left, this was, the left used to be all about this. Not so long ago, remember when the Occupy movement was dumping litter all over the streets of America, they were sitting there going, the evil corporations, we used to laugh at them because they were on their iPhones, uh, you know, using Google to send text messages, you know, all these things that they were using came from corporations. And of course, corporations are wonderful. There's not, nothing inherently wrong with corporations. There's something inherently wrong with great concentrations of power, something inherently corrupting with great concentrations of power. As Lord Acton, uh, the great historian of freedom, said, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I, I was thinking, why did the left forget this? Now, of course, the answer occurred to me after the show, and I just want, that's why I wanted to come back to it, that we shifted from a manufacturing economy to an information economy. In the old days, corporations used to be more right-wing. Why? Because a manufacturing economy is about objects and selling objects, and right-wing conservative principles apply, right? <clears throat> you can make a car, and you can sell it on TV by draping a half-naked woman across it, and I hope you do, but once I buy the car, if it breaks down, I'm going to dump the half-naked woman by the side of the road and go trade in the car and get a better one. I'm going to buy it from somebody else. So uh, one of the reasons that Detroit fell apart and the D American car industry fell apart it was because it was so wealthy it thought it could just give everything to the unions and the unions thought they could just take everything and ultimately the conservative principles destroyed the, that manufacturing center and manufacturing anything you, anytime you make a product it's got to be a good product you got to hold to basic um, uh, conservative principles competition is important uh, competition makes your product better all these things that we talk about in capitalism all of them help you when you're a manufacturer Information, information is inherently an emotional industry. You can say, well, information is all about numbers and all about fact, but which information do you turn to first? Do you turn to the thing with all the 17% of this and 87% of that? Or do you turn to somebody, you know, destroying the left and uh, the outrageous thing that somebody on the left said? <clears throat> information is all about emotionalism. And so is leftism. Leftism is about getting people to panic so that they surrender power to you. Now, it's important to remember, as right-wingers, it's important to remember here, the thing is, the problem is the concentration of power. It's not the philosophy. The concentration of power affects all people the same. This is the thing. People are not good or bad. In every movement, there are good and bad people. In every movement, there are people whose intentions are good. And in every movement, there are people who are good. I mean, obviously, there are movements that are so inherently evil that no good person would join them. But in most movements, there are people who are decent. But, but power, all of those people are going to uh, go over a range of morality and all of them are corruptible by power. And so that is why our founders said, you know, we are going to put the power centers off each other. And that is why these things like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, which are monopolies, essentially monopolies of information, are getting out of control and are starting to abuse their power. These are big corporations silencing people, individual people deeming their opinions hateful. Just, that's just a decree, right? That's not an actual description of anything. That is just a decree from a very powerful person, Tim Cook, in his, you know, fantastic corporation of Apple. It's just him decreeing that those voices of individuals will be crushed by his corporation, will be silenced by his corporation. And I think that we should definitely look at the way these things are governed. If they're governed as platforms, they should have to let everybody speak because they can't be sued. They're getting a, a benefit from this. 